Michael, the background to why he was overlooked is quite interesting in itself. Mm. But what does it mean for the UK's defence policy and positioning? Because he's a very experienced pair of hands. Yes, he is. He's been in the <clears throat> Ministry of Defence for eight years. He's, he's held the fort at a very difficult time, taking a very tough line on Ukraine and on modernising British forces. But he's up against the Treasury at a time of economic stringency, and so he hasn't got what he needed. He got a four-year financial settlement two years ago, <clears throat> and he won't get any more. And so if he feels his own political career is not going anywhere, and he's not going to be a NATO Secretary General, which he isn't, um, then he may well feel that, OK, it's time to go and do something else. Yeah, I mean, it's understandable, isn't it? Um, uh, <clears throat> let's shift our attention to Ukraine. The President of South Korea has mm. arrived. Uh, what, what's going on there? What's he doing? Oh, there he is, yeah. Uh, President uh, uh, Yoon suk yeol <clears throat> And he's been uh, President since uh, summer last year. And he was at Vilnius. He was at the NATO summit because the NATO summit also included South Korea, Japan, Australia, New Zealand. That's how important that summit has become in uniting the Western world and the G7. So he's in Europe <clears throat> and he makes a visit. I understand he's been to Butcher and Irpin, as everyone does as a sort of pilgrimage now, uh, for any visitors to go to these places to see the evidence of war crimes. Very important to the Ukrainians. In the past, you, you, South Korea has said they will only give humanitarian aid to Ukraine um, and some counter-mining, demining stuff. But actually, most of us believe they've been giving a lot of shells, 155 millimeter artillery shells, which the Ukrainians really need. And this week, The Economist said that, what we've all believed, that they've been giving them shells, American shells, which would otherwise go to South Korea, because the Russians are firing off 40,000 shells a day, the Ukrainians are firing off about 15 to 20,000 shells a day. They desperately need them. And I think South Korea has played a bigger role for Ukraine than most people until this week were prepared to admit. A lot of things that go on uh, sort of under the radar. Um, <clears throat> meanwhile, two weeks ago, we were talking about the march on Moscow. It looked like there could have even been a coup mm. uh, with the Wagner troops uh, advancing on Moscow. It was all, all fizzled out. And now uh, we understand that Putin had meetings with senior yep. leaders of Wagner. What is all this telling us about the power dynamic? Yeah, I mean, Putin's political credibility is draining away. <clears throat> we, know, we know for certain now, in his own words, that he met uh, Wagner people, Prigozhin, and 35 Wagner fighters in the Kremlin on the 29th of June, which was only five, four days after their attempted coup. And he was negotiating with them, and he didn't even get what he wanted out of them. And so Wagner is still in existence. They have still informed units in, south, in southern Ukraine. They're not fighting, because they withdrew from the fighting after Bakhmut to reorganise. They, they're carrying on reorganising. Some of them have gone to um, uh, Belarus, uh, to uh, Azipovici, which is this area in Belarus been set aside, but very few of them. Nobody quite knows what Wagner is going to do. Meanwhile, these people are emerging as the winners of this chaos. This man is Duomin, and he is the, on the left there, he is the governor of Tula, and he is a sort of pragmatist. A lot of people look to him as a sensible view, while Putin is, 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 seems to be declining. People are looking to Duomin because he gets on with everybody. He has been in the security services, he has been in the Ministry of Defence, he's now a very able man. And the other man is Zolotov, man we saw a bit earlier on. Zolotov is the head of the internal force, the Rosgvardia, who are the home defence forces. And he was loyal to Putin when other people's loyalty was not so obvious. And so Dumin and Zolotov are the two... There's Zolotov. Uh, Dumin and Zolotov are the two winners out of this chaos. But meanwhile, the Wagner uh, uh, sort of opera goes on. And, you know, Wagner are named after Richard Wagner, the composer. And I think, you know, Wagner itself is taking, the, is taking itself to their own personal Gotterdammerung. <laughs> Very long operas, aren't they? Um, Twilight of the Gods. Indeed. All right. Um, Michael, cultured and comprehensive as ever. Thank you. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.